Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! It's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. Try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Not bad for a noob. <clears throat> All right, get up on that scaffold. And don't fall, because there sure as hell ain't no net. That's my favorite. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for 10 minutes if you can't do that. enough. You've got some serious natural talent, man. Either that, or you've done this before. You done this before? Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Outside, yeah.
Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. I'm Crane. Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Anderson drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antison, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. This is 
Right now, urgent help needed. Um, I'm outside, I'm working for Spike. Ukraine, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses from Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Zephyr and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. All right, I'm on it. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Kate.
Shit. 